G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a 44 Magnum Revolver. This is a weapon that has been designed for the Fallout 4 New Vegas project, which essentially brings the 44 Magnum from New Vegas into Fallout 4, complete with a modernization for the models and textures, and with some shiny new animations on top of that. The sounds on this thing are a vanilla game, because it is a vanilla game revolver, which can coexist with this weapon, but eventually this thing will assume the same level list, and you might find that you'll find less vanilla game revolvers and more Fallout 4 New Vegas. Vegas ones, which is great because one of the key differences between these things other than the um, cosmetic and the customizational side of things is this thing is actually double action, which means you don't have to pull the hammer back and waste time between shots on a lame animation to take up uh, extra shots, which is good. It's going to make your DPS a whole lot better. However, the sting in the tail is that although you've got all of this extra rate of fire, you won't be able to capitalize on it much because as a 44 Magnum, this 44 cartridge is kind of powerful, so it'll kick. And if you fire it too fast, the recoil might be too hard for you to control it and actually aim and hit targets. So beware of that. You might have to um, be less trigger happy with this thing than you would with a standard 44 Magnum from the vanilla game. It also comes with the Mysterious Magnum. That's the one the Mysterious Stranger uses. It's got a quest attached to it. I'll show you what to do in a little second, but it's pretty self-explanatory, so you might want to skip that part. If you're already familiar with this mod and you just want to know my thoughts on it, let's get into the attachments. First of all, we've got the receivers. And just like your vanilla game things, you've got the advanced receiver that gives you 220, 77 damage. It's pretty good. And you can extend that barrel out to all the way to 197, the longest barrel you can. Obviously, there's advantages for having a shorter barrel that usually makes it slightly better in bats, and better hip fire accuracy. So, a close range um, weapon with a gigantic muzzle flash to blind your enemies whilst you are you know, burning up all that unburnt powder in the barrel. Yeah, you might blind them like a flashbang firing this thing at close range, but it'll be slightly better at that, also slightly more efficient in vats, and you can change the grip, you can have a sharpshooter's grip, a better recoil and hip fire accuracy, gun nut rank 3 required for that one, and just like Fallout New Vegas, you can change the ammos in this thing, so the hollow points will increase your damage, no word of this thing um, stopping when it comes to any armored target, so that's just flat damage increases, and you can get just shy of 300 using these SWC hand loaded rounds, which I believe those are the ones that you have to learn from that specific NPC that you got to talk to in Freeside in Fallout New Vegas. But I don't know, my memory escapes me there. But I didn't know, it, didn't really know it too much. Anyways, you got standard sights, you have glow sights, you have a scope, just like the ones that you see in Fallout 3, and you can modify those in Fallout 4 as well. You can have a reflex sight, which adds this gigantic, giant, I don't know, toothbrush holder on the top of this thing. Uh, what is that? Is that a microwave? Is it an air fryer? Who knows? we have also got the recon scope, which appears to use the same model. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I would have thought there'd be a more open design for the reflex sight like you'd see on the vanilla game 44 Magnums. I think that's a little bit much. We're going to do it anyway, because that's right. And you can change the material of the grip. Walnut, mahogany, ebony, ivory, ebony. Don't read too much into that. Next, we've got uh, the legendary effects provided by legendary modification. We'll skip that. And it uses the creation club paint thing, which you can't acquire, uh, apply any of these creation club paints. But if you scroll down to the bottom, you can actually uh, change the look of this thing. There's nickel, stainless steel, and a blue finish, which I think is kind of cool. And a worn blue one. But this one's pristine revolver. This thing's been in a, like a locked case for... 200 years and it's completely pristine and there's zero rust or anything. It's also got rifling in the barrel, you can see that, which is kind of a, a cool detail there. But there's one of our revolvers. Now, the um, Mysterious Magnum, you can modify it. It's a little bit stronger, but the modifications are a little bit more, um, uh, let's say, less expensive, a little bit more restrictive. Uh, they've got a light grip there that'll not increase the weight or decrease the weight at all. It's actually the same weight. And you can have different rounds in this thing. You're getting just shy of 400 damage with those things. And you can only attach glow sights on it if you want to upgrade the sight. So we'll do that. And the legendary effect is also there. We've already got the Mysterious Magnum, but I guess we'll go ahead and pick up another. 
Yeah, why not? I'll definitely get another one of these with a scope just for sniping, but we'll see how we go. In order to get the mysterious Magnum, you must first find the mysterious stranger case file here in the Valentine's Detection Agency or Detective? Detection? Something like that. Anyways, so there's sightings of a mysterious stranger if you go down to the bottom. Dry Rock Gulch, Nuka World, recent sighting. And there's references to older fallouts here. Older, less important fallouts, I might add. So that begins the quest the mysterious. Mysterious Magnum tells you to head to Dry Rock Gulch. Guess where we are. Now, your objective is not too far away. You can just sprint. You might find some bloodworms and there will be other quests that activate. But just go around the corner and uh, you can uh, you can blow them up. You're going to use slow motion. By the way, I'm, I think I'm going to flog bullet time vats and just vats in general. That's a Cazador over there. Just a reminder that, yes, it's Fallout New Vegas existed. Anyways, so you'll find a shovel here. you got to press F to dig instead of F to pay respects in this occasion. And as you're digging, you might get eaten by all the bloodworms getting around, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. You can just uh, slow-mo bullet time them, of course, which is a particularly effective uh, thing. They're quick little bastards, but if you... Ah, cricket! Wait, no, we're playing Fallout 4. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, so after we annihilate all of these insects and whiff all of the shots in a blind panic against the crickets... Look at that. Look at them. They're hitting like pixies. Get out of here. Stop it. Anyway, so after killing all of the uh, angry, non-flying mosquitoes with weird bums... Uh, there's the Mysterious Magnum. There it is. Yep. Mysterious Nose. And, oh, the thinger disappears. The, the skeleton man disappears. He got some rounds, and you get the Mysterious Fedora and Trench Coat along as well. And the Mysterious Note reads as follows. See you around, stranger. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad to not only be dragged across the Commonwealth, but across Nuka World as well. Thanks. And here's a look of the Trench Coat and Fedora on the female model here it, it it's i think it'd work better on a male model yeah that's better beat it toots these streets ain't what they used to be welcome back we're just about to get to the action of the immersive gunners plaza here is our 44 magnum in first person and this reflex sight which i can barely see the reticule it might be my color blindness uh, results may vary but look at that hip fire accuracy isn't that brilliant and a quick look at this thing in third person looks so much better than what you get out of the vanilla game revolvers in the um in the vanilla game yes and even the western revolvers don't look quite as good as this and i guess that's because it doesn't have hardware limitations of uh ps4s and um last gen xboxes to keep in mind when using this thing looking down the scope just a standard vanilla game scope not too uh complicated there it's fine and here is the mysterious strangers magnum it, it does this everybody listen up Oh, it's a Fallout New Vegas reference. Everyone clap your hands. Do you remember Fallout New Vegas? Had Legion in it and the NCR. Wow. Had lots of funny memes too. Anyways, I'll stop being facetious. Let's begin. And uh, we'll go to our spot of infinite stealth and we'll just start trying to take heads off of dudes. Or dudettes in this case. Might need a, might need a, like a VATS critical here. Because we might be slightly out of range. But... We do a pretty good job at uh, shearing their heads off from back here. 612 damage is actually quite good, to be honest. If I go for a critical from back here, well, it's not super impressive. I, I'm not sure this is going to pr a proper sniper weapon, but when they get a little bit closer, we can start to take advantage of its um, <sighs> damage to its fullest extent. Except for that. Hey, the mysterious stranger showed up. He, he did. He didn't lie to him when he said, see you around, stranger. Anyways, now that they're close, I'll start shooting them. That's much better. Much better damage. So yeah, sniping might be a little bit out of the question for this thing, simply because the range stat isn't going to lend. But these guys are tough mercs, you know? So, unless you've got a proper longer barreled version or not sneak critting, you might struggle, at least in very hard difficulty to one-shot these guys. But... You know, so far, so good, I suppose. Nothing to complain about thus far. We haven't had to push this thing beyond reasonable limitations as what you would want to fire this thing realistically 
in real life. Haven't broken any wrists. Bone's still in good good shape for now. That might change in a second. I'm gonna try to get as many as I can though. Yeah, we had so uh, so far out of range with this thing that we're only getting the McCree McCready's chance. McCree. No, that's a gunslinger from a different game. Although I think they changed his name because he started sexually harassing Tracer or something, or like other women around the Overwatch place. Like, what happened there? I can't remember. But Blizzard went through all that shit, and you know, that big iron meme was no more around uh, the Blizzard offices because everyone just reminded of how terrible the women are treated in the gaming industry, right? Is that what happened? Who knows? Anyways, I'll stop talking out of my ass. Let's talk about weaponry. Let him go. So. It does definitely feel a whole lot better to use this than a vanilla game revolver, but I haven't really let this thing, haven't unleashed the monster yet, and we can unleash the monster by using the mysterious one and just firing as fast as we possibly can. Not even Killzone 2 lets you fire a revolver this fast, and one more to your head as you fall over for good measure. Alright, you just use this thing a little bit in vafts, that's way better. I've always thought that um, using um, a revolver in this game, or any Fallout game really, is it's it's like your quintessential VATS weapon because obviously there's some style to using a revolver in this day and age, and you know we're all AR-15s and well, not even that anymore. We're we're past that. We're Sig. We're, we're using Sig MCXs now. That's this day and age. But um, you know six shooters. Back in the day, oh man, fighting those Indians, you can clean up a whole bloody tribe of them before you have to th even think about reloading. And obviously, these guys armed with their automatic rifles and non full damage protective gear. Got a harness, bro. <laughs> and that is why they get us to install handrail. That's only a little baby lieutenant. Obviously, it's a little bit difficult hitting targets sometimes. I, I feel like the sights are a little bit obstructive, but maybe I'm just making excuses for my poor aim. I saw that guy teleport there. Really, I'm having no trouble using this thing, and if I'm not a fan of the sight, is just use this thing in third person and fight the camera a little bit. A little bit of uh, implied recoil on the camera angles there. That's a nice little disarm, thanks to Gunslinger. Very nice. It'd be nice if there was an extra sound added to it, but I'm sure there's um, 44 Magnum sound replaces that already might be out there. In fact, I made one. Someone made a Battlefield... Uh, someone ripped all of the Battlefield 4 um, sounds, and I one time... This is back on my old computer. I think it's uh, been lost to a destroyed hard drive. Not destroyed intentionally, but um, just broke over time. But I used to have the... the Battlefield 4 sounds with the 44 Magnum, which gave it a little bit of extra punch, but didn't really suit the rest of the weapons and their sound designs and stuff, so, you know, that's why I haven't gone out of my way to remake that. Anyway, so, things are going pretty well, and unlike most revolvers that I use, not using the tacky animations where I've got to pull back the hammer in between every shot, this thing is actually doing pretty well. Now, we are using the Mysterious Strangers one, which is giving me a little bit more damage than... Um, what you're supposed to, but it's a relatively easy thing to get, and from my experience, I actually haven't found any of these in a leveled list at all. So the only one I've found naturally is the Mysterious Magnum, so take that information for what you will. Sweet. Takes me six shots to destroy a gunner if I don't shoot them in the head once. Probably three if I got them all in the head for, like, double damage. Probably would have done the job there. So being accurate counts. So if you use VATS with this thing, that's how you're going to really capitalize on its strengths. Because it is a very high damage per shot weapon. The fact of the matter is that you just won't be shooting it fast enough to get a um, whole lot of DPS. It won't be like a M249 type deal where you can just crush everything within a few seconds. Back into danger combat now. Before that guy can heal himself. Get a couple of hits in. I'll be honest, I'm not even using the uh, the like the iron sights to aim there. I was just using the 
I was just using the pacification box to aim. Now that seemed to have done the job pretty well. Ooh, a little bit of visual bugs happening around this thing. Mysterious Magnum being very mysterious right now. I don't know if that's just weird texture bugs or just some weird shadow things, but I can't seem to replicate. Actually, there it is. That might be AMBs doing that. Who knows what's going on there? Look, looks like the weapon's shadow that's casting on itself is just a little bit misaligned, which means I've got like a ghost revolver at the same time, which is cool. Also, it works the classic holstered weapons as you'd expect. It's on your side there. On your hip, if you will. Haha, <laughs> New Vegas reference. Really funny. Alright, the swan will spawn in and he's got... Buddies? What's going on there? Oh, that's the that's the broke guy who hasn't got any supplies for you to buy. Well, he's going to aggro the swan anyway, so we'll take him out. And that one will just hit. Lady Luck was with me on that shot. Hit him in the side there. Now, I'd like to get a couple of shots on this guy's face if I can. And if I get into vats, I've got one critical. Okay, well, this is not going to work super well, I don't think. Well, we rolled the dice there and got 75% of our shots in, which is not too bad at all. Perhaps we could utilize this thing in its, uh, VATS critical form. We've got a bunch of VAFs criticals, which aren't showing up on the screen, but I think at this stage I'd almost be out. Yep, that's it. Ah, Mysterious Stranger has shown up. That's some good extra DPS. We might just want to continue utilizing this thing in bullet timey slow-mo and using this thing like that that's so much faster he's got our he's back to us anyway so it's not like we can chase headshots for additional damage so we'll, we'll just do that instead perhaps the choice now is to there's a big horner there is that another thing from new vegas is that a possible fallout reference that i'm seeing right there there's a very fast reload the mysterious stranger is going to come out once again good for him except not really he was he was primed and ready but decided that he'd uh, stand me up there so not cool and here's where you'll find this thing it's it's strength is obviously high damage per shot but if um against a single target your extended dps yes the rate of fire is a lot better than what you'd find it to be for a standard vanilla game revolver but it's still slow your benchmark weapon here is your <laughs> Yeah, Scar H weapons, where you've got not a similar amount of damage, probably a little bit less damage per shot, but it's it's the magazines, they give it strength. <clears throat> Don't think I've got any crits left. What about Vats? Could use his face to generate some more? Maybe. Or at this stage, I think... Actually, that's Nerd Rage. May as well take advantage of that with the Mysterious Magnum. That glorious animation in slow motion. I love it. Mysterious Stranger has been deployed now. And he gives me an extra thousand damage. That's good. This, one's, this one might be close because at this stage, I've got bugger all health left. He's got less. What I could do is just uh, do these sick dodges. That seems to completely short circuit his targeting system. <laughs> okay. Except for when he just curves it in midair. Perfect throw. Alright. Next is going to be this guy. It'll be our second boss defeat now because we totally beat Swan that first time. Now here's where we might have issues. We've got plenty of crits there though. And we've got extra we've got extra um Wow, really? He actually hit me. That's the first dodge move that he's actually connected. Unfortunately, he's just run off in that direction. Oh, did I break the sights on this thing? Is it low? What's going on here? I don't think that's centered. And I can tell where the center is. You, you got to. There, okay, that's fixed it. There you go. Nice little critical on his face. I'm going to... Yeah, so the... I mean... It's stronger than your vanilla game revolver. It is like vanilla game damage, so it's not going to break your balance, but in situations like this, it's going to struggle. This might be like the um, the rebalance of you using the um, Barrett XM109 yesterday and just absolutely crushing everything in my path with it. And this is just the 
the rebalance of that. Got to use something I'm going to struggle a little bit with, or a weapon that is not particularly well suited for the tasks that I'm applying it for, which it is not. Normally, I mean, if you're using a difficulty that is not bullshit and takes half your damage away, then I think you'll be just fine with this thing, to be honest. Like a survival playthrough, it's a very lightweight solution. You get a whole lot of damage out of it. You don't get anywhere near the damage penalty. Wow, he just got smacked in the face. Is he planning to attack me or just like dance a line dance on that downed power pole there and probably time to bail now yep okay he has followed us around the corner there we did that whole dodge in slow motion no need to be that cinematic i don't think i think it's time to bring out a mysterious magnum and one more dodge i got just enough ap to sprint my ass back up here and just a couple more rounds and it'll be done. One more will do me in. Okay, that's Node Rage now. I think I'll just switch over to something where I don't have to reload. Alright, we've done the job. Okay, a little bit of a struggle. And if it wasn't for these dodge mods, I'd have no chance of surviving that other than just breaking his pathing path and jumping down here manually which is nowhere near as cool as doing that is it all right so i think you get the idea so the fallout 4 new vegas revolver is as expected effective but um not a universal weapon where you can use it pretty much anywhere is the combat music just going to keep going i guess so so it has its strengths in its revolver form where it's a high damage per shot weapon and is fairly efficient in that's all things considered so that's all nice but you were i found that it's going to be a little bit lackluster against gigantic targets like that which will take up a load thing and wow the birds just sit right next to you are these i don't think these ones are the institute spy crows no they're different they're eating the dead fishies though with gigantic eyes that's creepy so, anyways, if you like to see this thing in your game, check out the link in the description. If you are a stickler for revolvers, and this is a generally, this is a really good mod to add into your game. If you're doing like a proper gunslinger playthrough, where you can use bats and you're not going to get your damage penalized by half, then highly recommend this one. It's a high quality weapon mod, models, textures, animations, very high quality. It's just the practical applications of it that I find quite lacking, but that shouldn't sour what is well and truly a very well crafted mod. So go ahead and check it out. If you want, link will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching, guys.